Okay, girls, what is the name of the lesson? First, tell me what actually we will learn in unit three. You will know about it. What is um, the presence of numbers? Yes. So the name of the lesson is percent. The main thing you, what you have to learn is your percentage. We are analyzing persons of numbers. And at the end of the lesson, we'll understand the equivalent ratios can be used how we have learned before that can be used to know the person to know the percentage of the problem so now turn to page number leave the first page of that like jamie's older brother and his three friends want to split the cost of lunch maybe you you and your friends went out for a lunch and you want to split the cost you do one person will not give all of you have to share they also want to leave a 15 to 20 person tip okay how much should the person pay this is like you are creating the question and uh, you are creating the answer okay they they have shown you that total is like 78 dollars so they will divide including the tax and everything it's 78 dollars so they divide into four. Why they divide into four? Because there are four friends there. When they divide that into four, they got $1950. So each person's tip, they want to give us 15%. They want to give us 15 to 20% of tip. When I want to take out 15 to 20% of the total amount, like each person want to give girls. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what do they do? Okay, they multiply 15 to 1950. First of all, 15%. When I say that's 15% of the tip, what does this percentage mean? Did you, did you all do any percentage problem in your life before? What does this percentage mean? That means you will, whenever you see this percentage sign. 100. Yeah, it means 100. You will do 15 over 100, 19.5. Girls, when this is two zero, the point comes before two numbers. If you are multiplying, it goes to the right. If you're dividing, it goes to the left. So see where is the point? The point goes here. Again, those who don't know, I will say if it is one point, 15 over 10, the multiply the, the the decimal point must be before one number because there is one zero. If the same thing is 15 over 100, the decimal point is before two number. That is 0.15. But you know, before point there has to be zero. Okay. Now if it's thousand, one, two, three. Is there anything here? No, I'll just put a zero and a point before. That is 0 0.015. Did you all understand how did how I did this? Yes. This is maybe you have learned in previous classes. Okay. In grade five and grade six. Anyway, let us come back to the question. So I did zero point, I got 0 0.15 multiplied by 19.50. This is 15%. So almost I got this. When I multiply this, I get to 2.93. Yani each person will give 2.93 extra. Understood? Two yes. yeah. extra. Now guys, don't write about 20%. I'll just so 19 plus 2.93. Because $19 everyone were giving. And then I added. 2.93 because each person will give 2.93 more. That means each person has to give $22.43. Okay? okay? Just write, don't write this tip as between. Just write 20 because we are just solving with 15%. Please copy this. Do you have some uh, space there in your book like this? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Copy it. We read Jackie's work. Uh, yes. Um, we read the Jackie's work. Yes, and you just write this. Fifteen person means you have to divide by hundred and multiply by nineteen point five zero. Okay. Not sure the working there.
Can I go to the next page? Are you yes. Kita's phone has fully charged battery with normal usage. Her phone will last 18 hours. Normally, if she uses, she doesn't use much of things. So it will last 18 hours. How much time is left on Kita's phone battery with 12% charge remaining? See, guys, it's written if it's 12% remaining. So how many hours? Girls, did you remember the thing how I taught you? Our proportionality, what were we doing? Like same thing for for 100%, it's 18 hours. For like for 12, anyways, when I want to know about 12 by percent for x over 18, why did I write this way? Why did I write this scale? I'd write. Simple. If I show you this. For 100%, it's 18 hours. For 12%, it is how much? What do I do? You know that. I cross multiply. That is 12 times 18 over 100. It is 12 times 18 over 100 will give me somewhat like 216 over 100. That is 2.16. Girls, this is the yes. what you see. 100 percent give me 18 hours. So 12% will give me how much? What did I say you? Divide this. And I told you to start with next to the question mark. That is 18 over 100. And I told you multiply this. Am I correct? Divide this. 18 over 100. And multiply this. This is what I taught you, right? Yes. But see, this time they have given you some boxes here. They did not ask you to solve. If I solve directly, I'll get the same answer as 2.16. But when they give you this, you know that 12 percent means 12 over 100. You sit down. Huh? And this is X by over 18 hours. These are percentage and these are hours. Girls, just write this because this is not what we are following. This is not the procedure what we are following. I don't divide all of 18 and 18 to one another side. I just do cross multiplication. Just copy this and we'll go to the next question, girls. Done. I explain Done. you, you might get confused. But girl, this procedure, do you know what I've shown to the right side? Yes. This is easy, division and multiplication. Just copy this on the right side and uh, fill up those boxes and we'll go to the next question. Can I move to next question? Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll wait. Give me a minute, I will be back. Yes.
go to the next question. Can I raise now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let us do the tried questions very quickly. Are you all doing or everyone in the copy book? Yeah. Yes. Great. So yeah. page 139, right? Yes. If I don't get space here, I will do what the, what do you call us, on the white screen. Zero point, zero point, zero eight, percent of 720 girls remember this the word off means multiplication and this i have to change into this i have to divide over by 100 0 0.08 over 100 better i do on the white screen wait a minute girls just let me uh, just tell me the question now uh, what's your name judy tell me the question or wait, I will take a picture and I'll write. Wait a minute here. Because white screen is better for you all. Hmm. Come on. A means 0 0.08 percent of 720. Now, if I say 0 0.08 percent, I told you percent means you have to divide by 100 always. 0 8 over 100 times 720. Yes. If I say 720, there is one and there is one that cancels, okay? Now, if I want to write, if I want to convert 0 0.08, after point, how many numbers? After point, how many numbers do you see here? One. After point, this is point. First number, two, the second is, eight. there are two numbers. After decimal point, there are two numbers. So I'll just put eight over 100. Already there is 10 down and you have 72. See the step very carefully, girls. I will open 0 0.08. That is 8 over 100. Already 10 is there in the denominator. I wrote 10 times 72. Let me start with, uh, let me multiply 8 for 8 and 72. 72, 8. 8 times 7, 56, 57. Okay, now I have 576 over 1000. Miral, if there are three zeros, what do I do? Where do I put the point? If there are three zeros, it goes one, two, and three. So the point comes here because there are three zeros. I move my, I start my pointer from here. One, two number, or three number because there are three zeros. So I get a point here. When I get a point before, of course I need to put a zero here. That is 0 0.576 is your answer. Did you understand girls? Calculation yes. of any yeah. kind, not necessary that yes. you what I have done. Same way you will do here. You can do calculation by your own ways. What important is the step? I told you the meaning of off will be multiplication. Okay, this is, let me do 162.5 over 100. Why over 100? Because this is percentage. When it is percentage, I will say it is over 100. Okay, wow. Well, I will just cancel this two zeros and two zeros. What is left? 162.5 multiplied by two. I'll multiply by two. I got 
Actually, point is here, so it has to be somewhere here. That is 325.0. That is nothing but 325. Number C. Find 0.3% of 60. 0.3% means 0.3 over 100. Guys, this 100 is not because of this point. This 100 is because of this percentage. Okay. So, 60. 1 and 1 cancel. 1, 0 and 1, 0. So I have 0 0.3 means. Okay. Now, guys, this, when I want to remove this point, I have to put 1, 0. All right, so I have 18 over 100 because three times six is 18 and 10 times 10 is 100. If I wanna put this point before two numbers, my answer is 0 0.18. Let's write down this. If you have finished, please let me know. Um, I'm done. Next? Next, um, I'll go to the bathroom. Okay, any questions, any help? Anyone have, Majdulin, Miral? No, no. Understood, sure. Girls, there's no compromise in mathematics, please. Okay. Dishan, did you get it? Yes. Yes, I did. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Let us go to, I will clear this and we'll go to the next question. Just write down how do persons show the relationship between quantities. Percent is a ratio that compares a quantity to 100. And write down this answer. Percentage is a ratio that compares a quantity to 100. Miss, Miss, can you go up a little bit? I'm a number one, I'm writing. One minute, my dear. I don't know what happened to this page. Why this color's gone black? Can you see even if it's black? Yes. Yes, I Finished? Yes. No. Finished, girls? Only the first one right on. The fourth one we'll do on the white screen or I will just do it here. Done. What happened to this one? Why it got freezed? I'll go to the page again, wait a minute.
Tinggal mau aja Tinggal mau aja Tinggal So we will on question number four. All right, I'll open the white screen here and I'll do, the, I'll do this question. Please read out question for me. Question number four, read out for me. An eight ounce serving apples contains 8% of daily vitamin C. Majdurin, are you there? Yes. Yes, can you solve this question with me? It eight ounce serving of apples contains eight percent. Okay, eight serving contain eight percent. Eight ounce serving contain eight percent. How many ounce? How many ounce means? Where will I put a question mark next to ounce? How many ounce? Apple, would you get for hundred percent? So what did I say, Majduli? This what should I do? This will I multiply or divide? Multiply. That's what Majduli. This is like like after four weeks class, I have asked you the question because you are okay with me to answer now. See, Majduli. Any time when we are doing such kind of questions that eight kg, 25 rials, seven kg, how much? This I'm gonna divide, this two I'm gonna divide, and this I'm gonna multiply. And now what will I write in the denominator which is next to the question mark? I'll write 25 over eight, and then I'll multiply with seven. This is the procedure. Did you get it, um, uh, Majduleen? Yeah. Did you understand? Simple. Again, this question clearly tells me that with eight ounce, I get eight person. Like eight person gives me eight ounce. Eight ounce of apples, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. Hundred persons give me how much? This is my question. So what did I tell you? This you are all wow. divide. So I'll just do eight over eight. Okay. Let's get a little bit near and always follow this procedure. Whatever number is here, 100 or 200. And this I'm gonna, this I'm gonna divide and this I'm gonna multiply. Okay. So I get the answer also as 100%. Now, wait a minute, guys. I get answered as 100 ounces because they were asking you, right? How many ounces? What was the question? Eight times one and eight times one. The answer is also 100 ounces. Hundred ounces. Understood the question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let me solve with you at more Majdulin and then I'll come back to other girls. Okay, this one I think you know very well. Number five A. Number five A. What is the question? Tell me the question. Fifty-nine percent of what? Tell me the question, Majdulin. What is the question? On page one hundred forty. Do you have the book with you or no? Are you sitting with a book there or no? Oh, Dana, you answer me. 59% of what? We 640. Why other girls? Are you not sitting with the book or what? It's just a copy book there to copy what I'm writing. Fifty nine percent means fifty nine over hundred times six hundred and forty. You see one zero in the numerator, one zero in the denominator. So you have fifty nine and sixty four. Multiply them. One 
you get six three seven seven six three seven seven six Miral yes miss I want to change this fraction into decimal what is my answer there is one zero the point will be where tell me the point will be before one number because there is one zero the point will be there before one number so what is the answer 377 or 377 0. 0.6 very good this is the answer did you understand if suppose if suppose it was like this so your point will be before two numbers if 1000 before three numbers did you understand the concept yes okay We'll do next question. The first question, did everyone copy? Number four, shall I erase this? Yes. Okay, B. Girls, C, D, please take it as homework. D, please take it as homework. B, I will solve with you now. If I have time, I will even solve C with you. 0 0.2 0 over times of 3542. So I will just do 20 over 100. No, 0 0.2 0 over 100. Because whatever the number is here, write that number in the numerator. In the denominator, instead of this percentage, write 100. times, okay, let me move this point. If I move this point, this will become 20, 100. One more 100 is already there. I'll multiply with two only I'll multiply. Two fives are 10. 70840. I get 70840. Now you will say, teacher, where did I get the zero from? Because the 20 has zero. Divided by how many numbers? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I taught you it's before four. The point is before four numbers. One, two, three, four. So what is your answer? Your answer is almost like 7.0846. That is 7.1 actually. That is 7.1 actually. Seven point one. Understood? Yeah. Yes. Yes, this part, do you understand why I'm putting 100 and again 100? 100, because from 0 0.20, when I remove the um, point, it is 100. And from this percentage, we have one more 100. Okay. Good. Now let us do question number. What's that? We have number. I told you I gave you one homework that is D, right? D will be homework, and I want it on my WhatsApp, girls. Okay. I'm not just giving you homework for this way because I'm the Getting uh, grade seven girls, you are getting the least homework for math. Seventy one ninety five percent, one ninety five percent of five hundred sixty eight. When I multiply, because I don't have time, it's already your class is over. 
I will just do when I multiply, I get one zero one one zero seven six. I get when I multiply, it's like one ninety five over hundred times five sixty eight. I get one one seven. One second, let me check here in the answer. One one seven one one zero seven six. One one zero seven six. Point. I get this girls when I multiply. I get this over 100. And then the point is before two numbers, one, two. So my answer is 1107.6. There's no line on the top, okay? By this I have end up my class, please. Inshallah, see you all in the next class. That is science class.